Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for part 5 of Let's Play Infinite Warfare Blind. Uh, last time we started out on this mission where we were on the moon and I was complaining about how if there was no glass windows on the moon base, half the problems in this mission wouldn't even happen. That's just my personal thoughts though. So we're in some kind of an armory. Is there anything back there? No, nothing. I mean, obviously more weapons is always fun, so... We've discovered quite a few new weapons as well, so I'm not going to complain about that. Ooh, here's an armory. What do we have in here? A Reaver and a Trojan. Did it say a Trojan? So there's a condom gun? Uh, okay, sure. I'll check that in just a second. There's an upgrade terminal here too, Captain. Uh, Reavers... I kind of like what I already have, though, if we're being honest. Oh, I haven't seen this before, though. Oh, yeah, I think I'll hold on to this. Serious gun collector. I have no idea what that's for. I'll figure it out later, I guess, after this video. What is this? Breaking cryptography. Equipment upgrade discovered. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So I get so that's how we'd get upgrades in this game or something? If so, that's actually really cool. Oh, I lost my guns. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I lost my guns. Alright then. Now I understand what's going on a little bit better. Shot grenades, I'll take that. Oh man, shot grenades are a standard. I guess that makes sense actually, because they are technically deadly. Because they're like electric-based grenades. So that's how we find weapons upgrades, by finding those terminals or whatever. Terminal on terminal. That's awesome. That was probably a friendly, wasn't it? Oh, I can't even shoot through. That's why. <laughs> Freaking terminal for upgrades on terminal. Die. Oh! Massacre! Uh, Ethan, you might want to look away. I'm sorry you had to see that, man. I feel kind of sorry for him that he had to see the genocide of his own kind there, of about ten of them with one grenade. I apologize for that, buddy. I mean, you're a good little robot. You haven't done anything bad to me or anyone else yet. Oh, crap. I think I ran a little too high there. Okay, then. Knee-deep in shit. I think we're waist-deep in shit, actually, but... That's just my personal opinion. Seriously, like a fabric-based belt? That seems a little odd. Whatever. Isn't it nice that the walls that they want us to run on are painted differently? It makes things a little bit easier. Oh, that's new. Oh, hey, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, that didn't work. I thought I was safe there. Apparently there was another entrance there that I didn't actually see. Okay, hopefully don't do that again. Hell, I'd be screwed if I was playing the special difficulty. Oh, that's why, because there's a whole other area over there that I didn't even see. Ah, I'm an idiot. I think you guys probably already knew that, but... Okay, at least it... Okay, so once you get them once, they save. That's good to know. Uh, I want my shotgun back. There it is. The Reaver. Looks like we'd probably go that way if we really want it. Alright, I'm just going to use the light machine gun on these guys. I like this one, though, because it at least has a sight on it, and... What the... What the heck? Uh, what? That was strange. I, like, exploded from the side when I shot the explosion on the other side of the wall area. Maybe one of them had a grenade or something, but I didn't ever see a grenade indicator. I don't know. Maybe I need to look back at that when I'm, uh, editing. We'll see. Okay, whatever the heck that was, let's just keep going. Okay, this thing really doesn't do that much damage, so I might replace it. It's only doing a few damage per shot, I feel like. Another grenade there. Uh, let's go ahead and refill ammo again. And across. Oh, you closed that door on me. You can't do that. 
Well, I guess you can, but you shouldn't do that. Wow, that was boring melee. Shock ammo full, shock ammo full. Any other types of grenades here? How many, are there any more robots down there that I can kill just to make my team's life easier? I guess not. Okay, we're safe now. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. I don't know if that was a shortcut or not. Okay, uh, now I'm going to start looking for those terminals because that's actually a collectible worthwhile getting. I don't care much about the the captain's logs because that's just a different type of collectible. It's like the typical Intel items, but if I can find like upgrades and stuff by searching, I actually kind of want to find those. All right, let's open this up. Isn't it convenient how every door seems to be unlocked? What's your course of action? We're gonna board a set def capital ship and take it down. Ground phase of this operation is over, Sergeant. Scars are going <laughs> Okay, then that's a pretty bold prediction right there. I hope you're successful with that. Kind of. Get that elevator moving. Check. What are my orders, Captain? Falling with us, Ethan. Let's do it, Ben. Omar, you're with Salter. Ethan, you're up. Sir, yes, sir. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Robot, yes, robot. Chosen my team, Sergeant. Appreciate the confidence, sir. Let's get off the ground. All right then, let's do it. I really hope, though, there isn't like this in every single mission in the game because if it is, then it's going to get a little bit old. I feel like. I mean, it's not bad, obviously, but it's it's not great. Like, it's not to the level of some games that have done this before. It's, it's kind of linear so far. Maybe it, maybe it'll be less linear though, which would be nice. Uh, climbing and launching. It's also okay. It's not on. It's not on inverted controls. Hang on. I want to see. Okay. Yes, I can. Thank you. I prefer inverted flight controls, but that's again my opinion. Jeez, the voice coming out of the uh, thing might get a little bit annoying. I'll have to see how it comes out in all the recordings. Okay, so it looks like we're killing about 10 to 15 of them here. We shut up in there. We're getting kind of annoying. I see that. Oh, a supply drone. Okay, then. Uh, where's it coming in at? Where's it coming in at? Whoa! Okay, that was actually really cool. R1 to use missiles. Okay, then. Let's see if I can get locked onto one of these guys. Yep. All right, then. Sweet. Okay, that's actually really cool. I mean, I guess it's nothing too special, though, because we have seen this before, but even in, like, Call of Duty, like, Black Ops 3 also did this in, in like, one mission, though. Gunships? Where? I want to kill one. Oh, hello there. Oh, wow, so that, that's the Stinger missile sound right there. Wow, you couldn't even make something new for that. Come on now. Be creative, guys. Jeez, they launch a lot of missiles. I guess because there's two of them, probably. Let's see if I can get them separated. That might make it a little bit easier to take them out. Oh, screw this. Missiles. That didn't really do anything. Where'd he go? Oh, he's shielded? They have shields? Well, that one doesn't have a shield anymore because it's dead. Uh, let's go take out the second one. Now there's only one left. Hopefully the missiles will be easier to deal with. Oh, yeah. A little bit easier. Yeah. 
Again, that sounds like a stinger missile. Couldn't even make a new sound clip for it. Whoa! I think we did it. Uh, launch flares, just in case. Support is secure, Captain. Affirmative. Scars, RV for orbital launch. Copy that. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. We took out every single enemy ship. And I guess we did something good. I guess we kind of won this battle somehow. Alright, let's prime. And launch. Can't you just do that on autopilot, though? There's kind of no point. Oh, okay, so we're fighting up here now. Tigress engages when we're clear. All right, time for another space battle. Tigress, we're visual. Copy visual. Covering fire. Follow me in, Raider. I'm not actually controlling it right now. That's that honor's, I guess, going to Ethan. They can't do anything to us. I can't even fire at the moment. Okay, then. Oh, what the heck are we doing? Oh, this is smart. This is a really good idea. I'll admit, though, this is kind of cool, but it doesn't seem like the best idea we've ever had. Then again, we did already almost, like, crash into another ship, so... I guess it can't be that big a surprise, because we basically committed a suicide bombing act, I guess? Also, this gun is not good for this. It doesn't do any damage. I'm going back to the light machine gun. Man! Come on, lock on to the enemy! There we go. Didn't do it fast enough. It wouldn't lock on properly. All right, let's try that again. I'm not gonna use the uh, the shotgun, though, until I get up really close to someone, because I think that was part of my problem. Oh no, don't tell me this game has infinite spawning enemies. Please tell me that's not the case. Because if it does, then it's gonna be a lot less fun to play on the higher difficulties. I really, I really don't like games that have infinite spawning enemies. I think it's a really, really cheap tactic to kind of just increase the difficulty. And it's something that I really just don't particularly agree with in gaming. I really don't think it does anything to add to the game aside from make it more annoying. I don't know if they ever even abandoned infinite enemy spawns in some of the earlier games. Maybe they did, but I can't really remember if they did. Zone is clear. Here's our All right. Looks like we're doing okay. Copy. Tigers, we are exterior. We're here. Breach and clear. Do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I guess those were SDF guys. I thought we were going back to Tigris, though, to protect it. Maybe not. I guess we were attacking this ship instead and leaving Tigris to itself. Oh, please tell me that's a, uh, that looks kind of like that terminal from before. Please tell me I can get a new upgrade here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Not a big deal. You have killed Captain Bradley villain. Most wanted target taken down. All right, I have no idea exactly how that works. Is that in the pause menu? No. All right, then maybe we'll get more information about that after this mission. Oh, they don't know we're here. Okay. Maybe if you had told me that previously, I could have had a stealth weapon for this part of the mission. Oh, well. Copy. Get it open. 
I guess we're going the right way. I assume we are. I don't know. Maybe if you guys can catch up to me and tell me. Yeah, we were. Okay. Okay, that's quite a few enemies. Can we do it stealthily and, like, not even fight them? Okay, so shot grenades do absolutely nothing to human targets. That's really annoying. They don't even work like flashbangs or anything. Well, that worked actually quite well, though. We took them all out, and I don't know if there was any real way that you could have done that in stealth, so I won't complain. I'll take it. Alright, that's good. Warship positions. Can you pull it? Already downloaded, sir. Whoa. So, let's go. Tigris actual weapons are down. Sweet. So now we know the locations of like half their fleet, probably. Or maybe not half their fleet, but some of their fleet, so that's a good thing. I'd say this was worth it then, because we got some good information out of it. Uh frags and anti-gravity. Uh I'm gonna go with the frags. They're a little more effective overall. Shock doesn't even really work on human enemies. Three minutes? Uh-oh. Oh, we gotta run, then. Okay, was I supposed to go through here? Armory discovered. Oh, okay, so it's just basically... Okay, then. Type 2 reflex... Uh, cool, cool. And now we got an upgrade. So we're risking our life for money again. Uh, anti-gravity grenade upgrade, cool. Uh, nothing else really that I need though, so we're just gonna... Oh, wait a second, what's this? Uh, I don't really need any of that stuff, and we're kind of running out of time here. I don't really want to die inside of the spaceship. Die, die, kill you. Perfect. That only took a few seconds and we killed every single one of them. More ammo, I'll take that. That's a robot, isn't it? Ooh, a shield, take that. Very good. Okay, so we gotta get to a ship of some kind. I guess an escape. Uh, I know that this gun gets used a lot in the multiplayer. That wasn't smart. Where, why aren't you guys helping me here? Seriously. Come on. Oh, that really wasn't the right way you were supposed to do that, I'm sure. But it seems to have worked well enough. Until a robot spawns up my butthole. What the heck? Where am I? Okay, I got walked behind something there. Okay, then. Okay. And a shot grenade upgrade. Cool. All right, uh, we're alive, so. Akimbo machine pistols. All right, that's cool. I'm not sure we're all gonna fit in this one, but we can try. And we're alive, so I guess it's all good. Awesome, we did it, guys. We took out an SDF ship which is now apparently firing missiles at Africa. Mission accomplished, Tigris. Scar flight is Oscar Mike. We did it. We actually did it. Cool. Thank you, Captain Farron. Well, I'm sure that someone's gonna end up being a traitor. I just feel like that's gonna have to happen.
hours before the attack. Roger. Take our world. This may be our last stand. Understood, sir. Ship repair. Okay, cancer, then. Sir. Hangar deck is back online. Good news. Well, let's have an off direction report right away. Ethan, a company sergeant Omar, assist him with the AAR. Yes, sir. I've got it well in air, Captain. No doubt you do. You've got your orders, Ethan. Yes, I do, sir. <sighs> Little force FaceTime for those two, huh? Shame to miss that. Okay, then. Well, uh, that was interesting, but it looks like we had some good success there. We actually did pretty well, and it looks like next time we will get to actually start doing not necessarily the open world as much, but just like, you know, the different options get to have more freedom of choice in this game in the next mission so see you guys then